Welcome to another video of Pharmacon tutorial. In today's lecture, we will discuss about the drugs used for the treatment of rheumatoid arthritis. Rheumatoid arthritis is basically a chronic multi-system inflammatory autoimmune disease with no known cause. The main manifestations of this disease is persistent inflammatory synovitis of the peripheral small joints which leads to immobility, pain and inflammation. Now what causes this is that uh, as we know this is an autoimmune disease so an autoantibody that is the immunoglobulin M is produced against FC fr uh, fragment that is the FC portion of the immunoglobulin G antibody which uh, leads to an uh, hyper, uh, hypersensitivity reaction that is the type 3 hypersensitivity reaction where uh, this complex that is the immunoglobulin M and the immunoglobulin G lodges in different places like glomeruli, then soft tissues, joints, etc. and leads to multi-system inflammatory manifestations. To uh, treat this rheumatoid arthritis, we need to focus basically on two things that is there are two aspects. One is the pain and inflammation that is mainly produced due to the prostaglandins and leukotrins and the other is the autoimmune reaction and uh, tissue damage. So uh, basically to relieve pain and inflammation we use NSAIDs and uh, glucocorticoids. Uh, anyhow this uh, NSAIDs even though if they have the anti-inflammatory action uh, they are uh, only uh, produced at higher doses. So um, uh, at higher doses this NSAIDs will cause uh, vast variety of side effects. So, uh, they are not effectively used as anti-inflammatory but just to relieve pain. Now the next aspect uh, is to um, reduce the autoimmune reaction. So to combat the immune mediated problem mainly by the various mediators like cytokines for example tissue necrotic factor alpha we use DMARDs that is the disease modifying anti-rheumatic drugs. So now let's discuss in detail about the two aspects of uh, treatment. First of all, uh, let's look at the drugs used to control pain and inflammation. We mainly use uh, NSAIDs and uh, glucocorticoids. Let's see what NSAIDs do. They are used for uh, rapid symptomatous relief by uh, decreasing the inflammation and pain and uh, decrease the stiffness and uh, swelling in the joints. Uh, anyhow, they are not uh, having any uh, effect on the progression of the disease. Now about the glucocorticoids, uh, they mainly act as the suppressants of immune response and also as an anti-inflammatory by decreasing the leukocyte migration, increasing the lysosomal stability and decreasing the capillary permeability. They uh, also decrease the release of prostaglandins and leukotrins and uh, they inhibit the expressions of the COX-2 and also uh, it decreases this uh, interleukins. They uh, have wide range of uh, side effects including candidiasis. Now uh, about the second aspect of treatment that is the DMARDs. These drugs are mainly used to decrease the autoimmune response and uh, further prevent the tissue damage by suppressing the immune system. This uh, DMARDs are further classified based on their origin that is the source that is biological and uh, non-biological. First let us discuss the non-biological DMARDs uh, significant among them is the methotrexate. This drug it is uh, cytotoxic to lymphocytes uh, it is being a dihydrofolate reductase inhibitor. It uh, inhibit the bone marrow and lymphocytes and uh, decreases the amount of antibodies produced. Now uh, about its ADR, uh, it is a hepatotoxic, hematotoxic, mucosal uh, ulceration producing agent uh, and it is contraindicated in pregnancy, liver disease and uh, peptic ulcer. The uh, side effects can be minimized by administering the folic acid supplements and the next category of drug is the hydrochloroquine, uh, it is also called as a chloroquine. Uh, it uh, stabilizes the lysosomes and decreases the chemotaxis and uh, scavenges the free radicals. The main side effects associated are the gastrointestinal distress and uh, about the corneal and the retinal opacity. 
It also shows a synchronism and uh, uh, causes hemolysis in glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase deficient patient. The next drug is the sulfasalicin. The colonial bacteria splits this into the sulfapyridine and 5-AAC uh, that is the acetyl salicylic acid. This uh, sulfapyridine, uh, what it does is that it inhibits the B cell function, decreases the cytokine which is the inflammatory uh, mediator of this inflammation uh, that is uh, tissue necrotic factor and interleukins. And uh, about the um, ASA that is the acetyl salicylic acid, it inhibits the COX and have uh, local anti-inflammatory effects. The main side effects include hemolysis and uh, leukopenia. The next drug coming under this uh, non-biological demands is the uh, leflunomide. Now uh, how this drug works is that it inhibits the dihydroorotate uh, dehydrogenase and thus uh, decreases the level of UMP and uh, decreases uh, ribonucleotide formation. It uh, basically arrests the lymphocytes at uh, G1 phase of the cell cycle and the immunoglobulins are not produced. The side effects are alopecia, rash, diarrhea and hepatotoxicity. Next is the gold compound, for example is the orothiomalate. These uh, gold compounds, they alter the morphology and function of the macrophages that are involved in the cell mediated immunity and thus they decrease the immune response. The side effects include hypersensitivity reaction, ulcer, proteinuria and uh, uh, rarely aplastic anemia. The next drug is the D-Pencilamide. It is basically the penicillin metabolite. Uh, it acts by suppressing the T-cells and the R factor responsible for this disease. The side effects include proteinuria. Now uh, let's discuss about the biological demands. These category of drugs are used for patients who don't respond for uh, non-biological agents. Etanercept, it is a recombinant form of TNF receptor and it uh, basically acts as a sponge to absorb the TNF which is involved in the various immune reaction. And uh, next category is the monoclonal antibody to TNF that is the infliximab and the adalimumab. It uh, neutralizes the TNF. Anakindra, it is an interleukin 1 receptor antagonist and uh, finally the uh, abatacept which is a T cell activator inhibitor. All of these uh, mentioned drugs have a common side effect that is it causes opportunistic infections like TB because uh, these drugs uh, suppress the immunity. So that's all about the drugs acting for uh, rheumatoid arthritis.